Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and today I want to talk about Legion and alts. This will probably be a very touchy topic to talk about because I'm going to try to be real, as realistic as possible when talking in this video about Legion and alts. So yeah, as you can see right now, um, if you leveled your main right now, like your current main, you're still keeping up, your artifact knowledge is level 9 by now, and that's currently where all the mains are at. As everybody knows, artifact power is pretty much a huge thing, this expansion pack, and people are realistic that ults are going to suck, because you're pretty much your main damage and all that is from your artifact weapon. So, of course, leveling an ult, if you're doing raids, battlegrounds, raided PvP, etc., then you're going to be way behind. And if you're someone like me who, of course I do have my main, my druid, and yeah, pretty much I have, sorry, I was looking at my whisper, but, um, yeah, if you're like me and have a main, like I have my Druid, my main, but I can't hold still with one class, I have to constantly switch, because it's just how I am, which is why I have five hundred and tens, and I've been doing this, and some people I know have, like, maybe still 110, maybe two if they're lucky, so, looking at this realistically yes legion does suck for alts i think it's probably the worst expansion for alts some people may disagree i just don't really see it. i think it's the worst expansion for alts even um one of my family members that plays just does not have enough time for alts and stuff so i want to look at this as like as, uh, as realistic as possible and i think i might have a solution some people probably won't like this idea but it does work so my suggestion for all of you people that are like me and keep constantly alt hopping, I suggest you level all the classes to 110. I'm currently going to be working on my sixth one soon because, say for example like this, you get to 110, you start your artifact power, like, and you don't want to play that tune, that's perfectly fine. You'll start building up the artifact power, that's pretty much what my mage is for. Like, I don't really like my mage in general, but say for example, one day they change something about mage I love. And then I'm like, I'm so far behind on artifact power. I'm so behind. Like, I'm, my mage is probably like only like level 2 or 3 right now because he hasn't been 110 long. But yeah, for example, like that, like, <laughs> I'm so far behind and I'm going to get stomped by somebody who's like 3 golden trades. But and then I go on that tune and that I've been checking every once in a while. Obviously, you're going to have to go on that tune at least to check because you have to learn the artifact power and do the work orders for the next one. But yeah, I go on that, and I see that he's artifact knowledge. For example, I'm like we're so far into the expansion pack, and my main's maxed at like 26, and my mage is almost at 26. So I and I never really touched that tune in the entire expansion pack, and they changed something I like. So I suggest doing that for all your tunes. Like start off with the tunes you think you're gonna switch to eventually, and then play those, get them to 110, let them sit there, and keep checking every once in a while. And by the time you feel like you want to play it, even if it's not maxed, you'll at least have a start. Because right now, I can get up to 3,000 artifact power just from switching, I mean, just from uh, getting stuff. So, that's pretty much my thoughts on it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, this is pretty much what I think is as realistic as possible for Legion and Alts. I suggest, like I said, just leveling up your tunes, letting them sit there getting artifact knowledge that's pretty much my thoughts on it I, I like i said i don't even touch my mage and he's just gaining artifact power for whenever i feel like playing him again so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys later